Leos, welcome back to my channel and welcome all my new Leos who are here. Hopefully you decide to stick around if you do want to. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so that you never miss a beat. Also, if you want to check out my other channels, I have a pick a card channel, an astrology channel that will be listed below, as well as my website if you want a personal reading with me, okay? I actually have a sale going on for the month of February and for Valentine's Day. You guys can get 50% off of all my love readings on my website. Just enter the code LOVE at checkout and you guys will get the 50% off, okay? So take advantage of that while that's still available because I don't really do those sales often. But anywho, um, so we have the Seven of Swords as the first card here, Leos. So first harsh truth that you may be needing to hear. Um, Spirit is saying it's time for you to stop running from yourself. It's time for you to stop running from your true potential. And when I say this, this is different for everyone, of course, but... This could manifest that some of you running away from your talents, your gifts, and putting them on the back burner because you think that maybe they're not good enough or it's pointless to explore these gifts or these ideas that you have. This could even be running from just showing up in the world. Maybe you've been more recluse to yourself, not really wanting to be around people like your usual self. And Spirit is saying that it's time for you guys to get out of that space from running from yourself. Now, in February, you may actually find yourself feeling this way naturally, and that could be even a direct sign that you're really in tune with your spirit guides, and they're even trying to push you out of your comfort zone in terms of that, okay? Another harsh truth, this is knowing your worth. This is leaving behind anything that makes you question your worth, makes you have to take a double look in terms of other people's intentions. Okay. Spirit is saying it's time for you to stop giving energy also to the wrong things. You could be giving energy to family problems that don't really necessarily have anything to do with you. Or this could be you giving energy to a toxic um connection that you have with someone and because you guys have such an established past with each other it could be so hard to avoid this situation especially if this established history goes back like years years like childhood or you even have a child with this person But yes, with the Queen of Wands and the Six of Cups here as well, this goes into what I was saying, uh, Leos. I think that there's a need for you guys to be more confident in terms of what you have to offer. Um, and Leos is the sign of confidence, okay? You guys are the most confident sign that I know when you guys are in tune with your, you know, self and, and knowing who you are and whatnot. Um, so this is getting back to that. Also, again, this is going into creative projects that you may have started, ideas that you may have had, but you may have sat on them for a little bit too long now. When it comes to also taking anybody back from your past, the harsh truth is you really do need to vet who you're bringing back into your life. Okay, if you, again, have to question their intentions, question their words, their actions, and, and feel as if there's just a huge level of untrustworthiness connected to them. This is you needing to be real with yourself and, and not ignore the fact that you feel this way. Now, this could be in the sense of you needing to even heal. Maybe it's not necessarily them constantly cheating on you, but you just may have the inclination or this fear of that being the case and it makes you kind of questionable about them um so this may be a need for you to kind of do the self-healing and the work in terms of releasing the fact that this has some sort of hold on you all right let's keep going but discernment 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 especially for my singles that page of swords to me is just making sure that you are really getting to know who you're talking to, dealing with, uh, and not saying, you know, don't date, but again, just give it some time to really get an understanding of who you're dealing with. 
Now I also have the four of swords and the four of cups in reverse. Okay, so another harsh truth, some of you really do need to be careful how you're spending your night. It's a lot of thinking about all these different things or just, how do I say this? Especially with the four of cups in reverse right next to it. It's like sitting in a space of like trying to make sense of everything that's happened that you're not necessarily pleased with and, and trying to sort all those problems out at night. And that could be why you guys have not been getting enough sleep. It's like you're, you're trying to solve <laughs> uh, five years, two years, one year uh, of problems in one night and this makes you very overwhelmed and it takes away from your sleep schedule so just point blank period prioritizing sleep prioritizing uh taking care of your physical body too and being grounded within that outside of you know especially for my people who work from home okay it could be too much laying down slouching and then it's getting you into this lazier energy but definitely prioritizing a better sleep schedule Leos, what's the energy here? We have the Queen of Swords and we have the Three of Cups. Bottom of the deck, I have the Four of Wands. Hmm. Spirit is saying that the harsh truth is, or let me rephrase this before I say it like that. Um, spirit is pointing out that there's so much for you guys to look at in your surrounding situation and be grateful for and little accomplishments that you guys have been uh, making, whether this is you making the accomplishment of losing a little bit of weight or you, you know, accomplishing getting over a toxic breakup or you accomplishing starting a business or having a business for X amount of years. There's so much things for you guys to be in a celebratory mood about. And when you focus on what you don't like so much, it takes away from what you do <laughs> and it just makes you say F everything. So you want to be careful. The harsh truth is some of you guys have been letting that spirit overcome you too much of, you know, just kind of saying F it because certain circumstances just have just seemed a little bit unsure <laughs> or un uncertain, I should say, not unsure. But anywho, spirit is, is trying to make you guys hold yourself accountable of being grateful for your progress and not looking at your past as a hindrance. And then not only that too, when it comes to the friend groups that you keep, this is being aware of who's genuinely in your corner and who's not. Going back into that discernment piece. Definitely going back into discernment. Some of you who are on a break from a love interest who cheated on you, this is for you to get mental peace and to get mental understanding, okay? If you are, like, terrorizing yourself by thinking about this nonstop, you could be taking this break in the wrong way. So know that, okay, look, yes, things may be tough in terms of, you may be finding this information out or things playing out the way that it is, but you don't want to put yourself through some sort of mental torment almost by thinking about this and, and stressing yourself out. But these are just some of the things that I'm seeing. I hope that in general, this reading was helpful. If you did enjoy, definitely thumbs up the video and subscribe and I will see you in the next one.